What is up guys, welcome back to another Destiny 2 video, with today's topic looking into the brand new combat mods called Elemental Worlds, and why you should get them and definitely use them, before you lose your chance of getting them all together. Before we head in, if you enjoyed the video then please leave a like and a sub for more similar content in the future, it really does help me out. Elemental Worlds are a new mechanic introduced in Season of the Chosen, and are similar to the Charge with Light mechanic. Players can equip the following armor mods that alter the benefits that these worlds grant, ranging from increased intellect to weapon damage. They can be gotten from the helm on a weekly reset and will be in rotation until the season ends, to which they will be most likely end up back in Banshee's rotation. Now what they do is honestly quite simple. Elemental worlds are small orbs that grant ability energy when they are grabbed and depending on which mod you have equipped it will provide you with a different number of effects. If we take the Elemental Ordnance mod that is currently available, it states that Defeating a combatant with a grenade spawns an Elemental Well that matches your subclass energy type. It's simply, if you have the Arc, Solar or Void subclass on and get a kill with that subclass grenade, then the Elemental Well will drop for you and your team. Another example is using the Elemental Light mod which states Defeating a combatant with your super spawns an Elemental Well that matches your subclass energy type. So once again, if you pop your super with the mod equipped it and then get a kill with said elemental super, then you'll produce an elemental well for all. These mods are just as they are explained, as long as you use the following elemental subclass and attach the from the mod to get the full benefit of them, then you'll be able to activate them and get the full benefits. Now you'll know if you activate it properly as they behave similar to the orbs of power, resting on the ground for long duration before they despawn. Also, when a player spawns a well, it appears for the entire fire team, and this is where it can be really useful for endgame or any group based content in mind. How this benefits you and your team will depend on the build and loadout you run. When you collect a well and activate a specific well mod, you will gain a 10% ability energy to your ability with the lowest current energy. If you grab a well that matches your subclass element, gain 10% ability energy to all abilities, so grenades, melee, and class ability. Now this may sound low and not worth using compared to charge with lights and warm mine cells, but don't blow off just yet. The elemental light mod is useful if you create a super focused build in PvE, and the best example of this is using the Crown of Tempest for the Warlocks, Doomfang Pauldrons for the Titans, or Shards of Galena for the Hunters. All three of the exotics focus on building up your super quickly through playing or simply activating them alone. And when you add in the corresponding subclass to them as well, then you get a major payoff with these subclass perks that can also lend a handout. But perhaps you don't want to focus so much on supers, but you still want to use the charge with light mods. The elemental charge mod can allow you to become charged with light by picking up an elemental well. If the elemental well's element type matches your subclass element, you gain two stacks of charge with light. Now, if you have the stacks on stacks mod equipped it, and a matching element as well, it will grant you 4 charge with light stacks instead. This can make high energy fire and other stack intensive mods are much easier to maintain and use for a longer period. Now these are just a few examples as to how you can build around the mods and get the full benefit of them from the get go. Even if you don't have the exotics to make your builds work, the mods alone can pull you through and create something that is still on par against a use of exotics. Sadly for the PvP folks, this does not work in PvP at all, as it's only against combatants. But you still have the option to use Charge with Light mods as it currently stands. Overall, don't sleep on these mods and make the same mistake you may have done for the Charge with Light or One Myself mods in the past. There may not be a lot of them, but they are still as powerful as any mods introduced in game. Get them, make full use of them, and do not make the same mistake you may have done for Charge with Light or War My Cells. Honestly, unless you're happy with waiting for Banshee to have them back in stock again, don't take the risk get them while you still can. So if you enjoyed the video, then please do leave a like and a sub, and also follow me on Twitter to keep up to date with Destiny and Titanfall 2 content. If you did that type of stuff, link is down below. But once again, thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you all in the next one.